Welcome to an alternate past. Today's video is, what if the Warsaw Pact had invaded NATO in the Cold War? Imagine waking up to the sound of air sirens blaring, widespread panic, and the looming threat of nuclear annihilation. This could have been reality if the Warsaw Pact had invaded NATO during the Cold War. The mere idea sends chills down the spine. Let's explore this chilling alternate history and what its terrifying consequences might have looked like. The Cold War was a period of unprecedented tension between the Eastern Bloc, led by the Soviet Union, and the Western Bloc, led by the United States and NATO. Both sides were locked in an intense arms race, boasting nuclear arsenals capable of global destruction. The Warsaw Pact, formed in 1955, was a collective defense treaty among eight communist states of Central and Eastern Europe under Soviet influence. On the other side, NATO, established in 1949, consisted of Western nations committed to mutual defense against aggression. The ideological and military standoff between these two formidable alliances kept the entire world on edge for decades. Now, imagine, in a shocking twist, the Warsaw Pact decided to launch a surprise invasion against NATO. The strategic aim would likely have been to gain control over Central and Western Europe rapidly, leveraging surprise and overwhelming military force. The initial hours of this invasion would have been marked by massive airstrikes, cyber warfare, and the deployment of tens of thousands of troops. European capitals such as Berlin, Paris, and London would become immediate targets. The civilian toll would be catastrophic, with millions caught in the crossfire. The United States, committed to NATO's Article 5, would have no choice but to respond. This response wouldn't just involve conventional forces, but the real possibility of a nuclear retaliatory strike. The doctrine of mutually assured destruction, MAD, meant that any sign of losing grip on critical regions could push nuclear buttons on both sides. The psychological terror, knowing that each minute could be the last, would paralyze global populations. Cities like New York, Moscow, Washington, and Kiev could be turned into radioactive wastelands within hours. The intensity of urban warfare, street battles, and the sight of devastated landmarks like the Eiffel Tower or the Brandenburg Gate would haunt people forever. Hospitals would overflow with casualties, while essential services would crumble under relentless bombardment. Families would be torn apart either by death, displacement, or conscription. As the battle raged on, espionage and sabotage would come into play. The KGB and CIA would engage in clandestine operations, targeting vital infrastructure, assassinating key figures, and spreading misinformation to cripple the enemy's morale. Social order would break down as food supplies, medical aid, and basic amenities become scarce. Mass evacuations would lead to unprecedented refugee crises with millions fleeing conflict zones only to find themselves engulfed in chaos elsewhere. The invasion would likely trigger resistance movements across occupied territories. These insurgencies would see ordinary citizens taking up arms, leading to prolonged guerrilla warfare. Imagine the desperation, the heartbreak, of fighting a losing battle in your own hometown, watching friends and family perish, and realizing that surrender often led to brutal re-education camps or summary executions. The international economy would utterly collapse, trade routes would be blocked, global markets would dive, and the currency would become nearly valueless. Famine and disease would undoubtedly spread. The environmental impact would be horrendous too. Nuclear fallout, chemical weapon residuals, and widespread destruction would render vast areas uninhabitable for decades. The death toll would be astronomical, with estimates easily crossing into the tens of millions, if not more. Diplomatically, non-aligned countries would face immense pressure to choose sides, risking internal conflicts and coups. The geopolitical map would be redrawn entirely. Countries like China and India might see opportunities to assert dominance, leading to further regional conflicts and instability. Global cooperation would disintegrate replaced by a grim survivalist ethos. And what about the scientific and cultural loss? Libraries, museums, and universities would be bombed, destroying centuries of human achievement and learning. 
If nuclear weapons were used, the long-term genetic damage would affect generations to come, leading to birth defects, radiation sickness, and a dramatic rise in cancer rates. Psychological trauma would scar survivors, with PTSD and other mental health issues becoming rampant. So what would the legacy of such a catastrophic war be? It would forever alter the course of human history, shattering any naive notions of progress or peace. The human spirit would be put to its ultimate test, as people around the world scrambled to rebuild amidst ruins, both physical and moral. In summary, if the Warsaw Pact had invaded NATO, the war would set off a chain reaction of death, destruction, and unimaginable suffering. The world as we know it would be irreparably changed, plunged into a new dark age. The fear, the pain, and the devastation would be ingrained in human memory for all eternity.